Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm John Siantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches several schemes and programs and distributes national MSME awards. Chief Minister Nipiro urges youth to venture out into varied fields of employment. Nagaland government imposes ban on single-use plastic in the state. National President of Janata Dal United, Rajiv Ranjan Singh, says good governance can bring long-lasting peace in Nagaland. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that the government is making necessary policy changes to encourage MSME sector in the country. He added that the centre has increased the budget by more than 650% in the last eight years to strengthen the sector. Addressing the Udyami Parat program in New Delhi, Modi said the micro, small and medium enterprises MSME sector accounts for almost one-third of India's economy and it has a very important role in India's growth journey. The Prime Minister asked MSMEs to register on the GEM portal for supplying goods to the government. Talking about Kati, the Prime Minister said the turnover of Kati and village industries has crossed one like crore rupees and Kadia sales have increased four times in the last eight years. Modi added that Mutra Yojana has a formidable role to play in making entrepreneurship easy for every Indian. This scheme of bank loans without guarantee has created a large section of women, Dalit, backward and tribals as entrepreneurs in the country. During the event, Modi launched the Raising and Accelerating MSME Performance RAMP scheme, capacity building of first-time MSME exporter scheme and new features of the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program, BMEGP. On the occasion, the Prime Minister also digitally transferred assistance to beneficiaries of the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program for 2022-23. He also announced the results of MSME IDEA Hackathon 2022 and distributed national MSME awards. Modi further issued digital equity certificates to 75 MSMEs in the Self-Reliant India Fund. Chief Minister of Nagaland Nipirio has said that as per the annual Period Labour Force Survey, PLFS, for the year 2020-21 report, Nagaland has the highest unemployment rate in the country. The Chief Minister said this while inaugurating the Norman Putsare College at Jumugedima yesterday. Emphasising that limited avenues of employment in the government has reached a saturating point, he urged the youth to venture out into other fields as well. Rio described late Norman Putsore as a man of vision, taking challenges positively and a real team leader. The Chief Minister expressed hope that the college will inspire generations to come and equip them to face a brighter tomorrow. Dedicating the college to her father, late Norman Putsore, Managing Director Senyenyo Putsore said the college is to keep his legacy alive. The MT assured that the college will be run with fun and excitement and will always emphasize nurturing potential talents. Nagaland government has imposed a ban on single-use plastics in the state to eradicate the menace of plastic and the serious environmental and ecological challenges posed by the rampant use of plastics. Manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, sale and use of single-use plastics, including polystyrene and expanded polystyrene commodities, will be prohibited from tomorrow. Earbuds with plastic sticks, plastic sticks for balloons, plastic flags, candy sticks, ice cream sticks, polystyrene or thermocol for decoration will also be banned. Further plastic blades, cups, glasses, cutlery such as forks, spoons, knives, straws, trays, wrapping or packing, firms around sweet boxes, invitation cards and cigarette packets, plastic or Polyvinyl chloride banners, less than 100 micron stirrers, will be prohibited. All other clauses mandated in the Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016 and Plastic Waste Management Amendment Rules 2021 will be strictly implemented in the state. All individual institutions and commercial establishments, such as educational institutions, 
offices, hotels, shops, restaurants, religious and faith-based institutions, industrial establishments and banquet halls has been informed to follow the order. Central and state government departments, agencies, commission, public sector units, missions including militaries and barra militaries in the state has been directed to abide by the ban. Any breach of the prohibition will be liable for penalties. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. National President of Janata Dal United, JDU, Rajiv Ranjan Singh, alias Lalan Singh, has said that good governance in the state can bring long-lasting peace in Nagaland. Singh, along with four members from the party, is on a visit to Nagaland to assess the situation of the state's long-bending demand of Naga peace talks. Addressing media persons at Kohima today, Singh said they are meeting different civil society organizations and hearing their views. He said they will assess the situation and analyze it and further raise the issue in the parliament so that long-lasting peace is restored in Nagaland. Singh said every group and stakeholder should be consulted for final agreement. Singh said the state government plays a vital role in the peace process. He, however, alleged that the role of state government has become like a messenger. Singh also claimed that the commitment election for solution given to the people of Nagaland during 2018 election was not fulfilled and no solution has come yet so far. Meanwhile, a press communique issued by General Secretary in charge of North East, Afaki Ahmed Khan, urged the Naga people to be united and play a major role in the building of the greatest democracy of the world as a major stakeholder. The JDU reminded the core committee on Naga political issue, led by NTPP, that it must understand the solution has to go through the parliament and it needs the support of, if not all, at least the main prominent political parties. The JDU further demanded from the state government to construct a JPP's mission, memorial park and museum as a tribute to its ideologue, Jaya Prakash Narayan, who played an important role in the 1964 Nagaland Peace Mission. Sovima Health and Wellness Centre under the aegis of Sovima Village Council in collaboration with Dimapur Civil Hospital, Blood Bank, conducted a blood donation camp yesterday. Around 46 donors voluntarily turned up from the village as well as from Tetsu College, Combat Academy and Global Peer Skilling and Development Institute in Sovima. In his message, Chairman of Sovima Village Council, Sebastian Zumu, said of a donation can mean life or death for some people who are in dire need. He also pointed out that the positive aspects of frequent blood donation, such as lowering risks of heart attacks and also an easy way to detoxification of the body. Lamenting that Nagas have a serious misconception about blood donation, Zamu stressed on creating more awareness about the benefits and need to donate blood. India has successfully flight tested the indigenously developed high-speed, expendable aerial target APIAS from the integrated test range in Chantipur off the Odisha coast. The performance of the aircraft at low altitude, including sustained level and high maneuverability, was demonstrated during the test flight. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated DRDO and the armed forces for the successful flight trial of APIAS. Rajnath Singh said that the development of this system will meet the requirements of the aerial targets. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches several schemes and programmes and distributes national MSME awards. Chief Minister Nipirio urges youth to venture out into varied fields of employment. Nagaland government imposes ban on single-use plastic in the state. National President of Janadadal United, Rajiv Ranjan Singh, says good governance can bring long-lasting peace in Nagaland. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.